The Cabinet of Curiosities were created in the 16th century when explorers brought back treasures from their travels. At first they were more interested by the aesthetic side of those pieces and then they st later they started to be interested by the strange. And that's that dichotomy we wanted to show in our exhibition. Ni msanii hapa na Fast Space nafanya shughuli za uchoraji, ufinyanzi na tumia waya kutengeneza vinyago pamoja na plastiki zilizokotwa mitaani. Vinyago hivi vitaakilisha kuhusu hali ya rushwa nchini inayopelekea kuwa na miundombinu mibovu, afya na elimu mbovu, lakini upelekea waharibifu wadogo wadogo kupelekwa jela kwa miaka mingi na walalushwa wakubwa kuachwa huru wa kila maisha yao. I'm a photographer. I decided to show work about the coexistence between human beings and the plant world. And I make a fusion of these two worlds, showing some hybrid creatures, half plant, half human, and also how man struggles to dominate his environment, which is essential to him. And as soon as he lets go, the nature takes over again. Yeah, a lot of source of inspiration come from mythology, the metamorphosis of Ovid and uh, my fantasy. I am a choreographer and I work at Muda. And uh, right now we create a performance. And yeah, this performance, it's uh, dance and uh, movement. Mostly we do movement. What we want to do is to show people shadows, but, but using our body, we can create some postures and uh, pictures. And this dance, it is talking about the history of Africa. In Africa, there are so many things which are hidden. Some people, they never know them. So through this, this dance and through our movement, maybe people, they'll, they'll understand what is Africa. Mimi ni msanii mchoraji wa watakala na, na penny and ink ambayo ni nyeusi na nyeupe na nimechola mchoro sasa kwa ajili ya, ya, ya maonyesho haya na kazi hii maalum kwa ajili ya kuonyesha ile hisia yangu kuonyesha ndoto yangu na nimetengeneza mchoro ya ajabu kidogo lakini ni, ni mafikira yangu nilokuwa nikifikiria nilokuwa nikidisikia hadithi za zamani ndao nimeingiza katika ati yangu sasa My work is called A Glass House in the Tropics and it's um, my interpretation of the strangeness of building glass houses near the equator for that I've collected items that are new to this country um, that vary from hamburgers to christmas trees to crows um, and I've frozen them into ice and they will melt during the opening of the exhibition. It's my metaphor of telling um, how strange it is to have houses that don't belong in this climate. As an artist, my art is about to talk about the reality, uh, to make people think about life, what, what is life, what is the imagination, what, what I have in my, myself. I've got so many dreams in my mind, so once I started thinking about where are we coming from as a human being. We are like ant hill and the monkey keep eating and doing their life as usual, different from human being. That's what I was thinking. So my art is based on making people think. Mimi ni msini mchoraji na mchapaji wa sana. Katika maonyesho haya nimetengeneza kazi ambayo inaonyesha jinsi jinsi gani kemikali inavyotumiwa mashambani zinavyoathiri jamii zetu. Hususa ni maua ambayo huuzwa duniani kote kwa watu bila kuwa na, na uelewa wa asari wanazopata wa kulima kipindi cha ukuaji wa maua hayo kutokana na kemikali wanazotumia. For this exhibition, my curiosity was on the process. 
I worked on very small series of engraving or screen printings because I wanted to feel the pleasure of the collection as they could feel it at that time. After that, I wanted also to experiment more and I worked on the transformation of objects. My name is Rosindana Jean-Baptiste. I was the sound engineer and music producer for that event. So what I did is I compiled different music sounds. The ones that were more joyful, happy, and friendly, I used them to create the idea of the wonders. The other ones that were more sad, frightening, and scary, and, and that will create the idea of uh, monstrosity. It was a very challenging work, but uh, I was very happy with the results because the effect uh, made it amplify a bit and it was really nice to hear. <laughs> 